When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Plus, forgetting was never an option. Remembering is a noble and necessary act. The call of memory, the call to memory, reaches us from the very dawn of history. No commandment figures so frequently, so insistently, in the Bible. It is incumbent upon us to remember the good we have received and the evil we have suffered. The Jewish New Year's Day Rosh Hashanah is also called Yom Hasikaron, the day of memory. On that day, the day of universal judgment, man appeals to God to remember. Our salvation depends on it. If God wishes to remember our suffering, all will be well. If he refuses, all will be lost. Thus the rejection of memory becomes a divine curse, one that would doom us to repeat past disasters, past wars. Because I remember, I despair. Because I remember, I have the duty to reject despair. I remember the killers, I remember the victims, even as I struggle to invent a thousand and one reasons to hope. There may be times when we are powerless to prevent injustice, but there must never be a time when we fail to protest. Mankind needs to remember more than ever. Mankind needs peace more than ever, for our entire planet is in danger of total destruction. A destruction only man can provoke, only man can prevent. Mankind must remember that peace is not God's gift to his creatures, it is our gift to each other. In this field the poppies blow, between the crosses row on row, that mark our place and in the sky, the larks still bravely singing fly, scarce heard amid the guns below. We are the dead short days ago, we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved and now we lie, in Flanders Field. Take up our quarrel with the foe, to you from failing hands we throw, the torch be yours to hold it high, if ye break faith with us who die. We shall not sleep though poppies grow in Flanders Field. Country in war, both those in Her Majesty's forces and those serving on the home front. Those who we knew and whose memory we treasure. And all who have lived and died in the service of our nation and commonwealth. Alright, they're cold. I'll get there as soon as I get there. Thank <laughs> you. 